beautiful rain here in San Diego. Man, I absolutely love the rain when it's just sprinkling a little bit and you still got these beautiful skies. Look at this, with these nice palm trees. So a buddy of mine was actually driving down the road and he hit one of these potholes because it's raining, you can't really see, and it put a nice little hole in his tire. And by the time he got home, his tire was completely flat, but he's lucky to have made it home because sometimes your tire just goes out and it goes out really quickly. So if you don't have a tire patch kit, or an air compressor, you may be stranded. Now, if you have a small air compressor, I'm sure you can pull over on the side of the road, hook it up to your little volt on your car, and wait a little while while it pumps up your tire. And now, even if you're off-roading, when you put one of these, it takes a long time. You guys may have saw my video. I didn't even put it in the video when we were pumping back up our tires because it just took so long. But now, with what I'm going to show you guys today, it's a dual-cylinder air compressor that hooks right up to your battery. So let me show you guys how it is. All right, so I got my handy Smith & Wesson. I absolutely love this knife. It's super sharp, as you guys know, and I use it for everything. I always link this in my descriptions below if you guys wanna go grab this as well. Look at this, you put this like this, and it also has a safety, so it doesn't come out. And when it does come out, it's super quick. All right, after taking off that foam, here it is. It's a little bit heavy, not gonna lie. But let's open this up. All right, you guys, here it is by 4x4 Off-Road. In this awesome patented design, has a couple safety features as well. When it feels overheated, it's gonna automatically shut off and a whole bunch of different other things. All the nice little features, this thing bends down, you can hold it back up. Obviously, I will be linking this in my description below where you guys can go and grab it. And this right here comes with a super long cord, which also has a PSI gauge, of course, on it. And then it also has this long plug to go into your battery. So this thing is super awesome. I'm super excited. Obviously, it has that quick attachment for the PSI hookup. And we're actually going to be comparing this one to this little puny one, which I always keep in my truck. And it hooks up to just this little outlet right here. It takes a very long time to pump up any tire with this. So that's why we're going to be putting them to the test. So I'm going to put two tires down on my truck to about 15 PSI, because when you're off-roading, you may go down to 15. And we're going to clock it and see which one goes faster. So let's hook them up. All right, so let's go ahead and put these guys at 15 PSI. I think they're both a little above 35. So here it is. It's about, yeah, 35. So we're going to go ahead and bring it all the way down to 15. So they're both at around 15. If we take a look inside of the taco. Okay, so it says 16 and 15. Well, they're both right around at 15. So let's hook these up and see which one goes faster. All right. So now what you want to do is you want to take these. Let's hold that red one. And let's go ahead and put the black one right there. Grab this one and hook it up right there as well. So now the air compressor should be working. There she is. And let's go ahead and attach this. All right, so like I said, they are both at around 15. All right, so now this one is all hooked up. You can see, what is it reading? Okay. So now let's go ahead and start them. Let's start this little puny one first, and then this one. So this one is already at 30 and that one is still at 15. So let's see what it's at now. So it jumps up a lot. So let's go ahead and keep an eye on it. There it is at 34 already. All right, you guys. So if we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this, it says that one is already at 36. I turned that one off and that one is still at 18. turn this off let's hook up that dual air compressor and pump this right up that literally took maybe about one minute i would say if that and this one is still at 18 and this one just absolutely sucks so i can even leave the air compressor there just because this is so long i can come to right here 
plug that right in and turn this on. So there we are at 23 already. And the Tacoma checks like every couple of seconds so it doesn't update right away. And I'm not gonna pause this video at all so you guys can see how fast it goes. So there it is already at 28. So you guys saw how fast it goes and what was that, like 20 seconds it's been? All right, so it should be good now. And we are all done. So let's just double check. And like I said, guys, it updates every once in a while. So there it is at 35. Well, there they all are at 35 PSI. And the best part about this is I can take it in this little nice carry case anywhere on an off-road trip. So right now they're obviously all sitting at 35 PSI. That thing is absolutely amazing. You guys saw that thing was already done at 35. While the other one that plugs into your little car that we all have is still sitting at 18 PSI. That was just amazing. And to be honest, the noise level of both of them were just about the same. The one that plugs into your car is super loud for no reason. And the other one was just a little bit loud. And honestly, they're both about the same noise level. And the only thing I would say is maybe that thing is a little bit big, but I mean, it's so 100% worth it. I'm definitely ditching that little thing that takes 30 minutes to fill up one tire. I'm definitely gonna be bringing this air compressor to all of my off-road trips because it's literally a night and day difference. I mean, you guys saw, I didn't even cut that last video and it took around 20 seconds and that whole tire was already done. So this is something that I'm actually super surprised about. This is something I should have bought a long time ago. So for you off-road guys, this one is the one to get. Go ahead and grab it using the link in my description below. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So if you guys can please help out the channel by giving a quick like and a subscribe, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.